As the sun rises over Costa Rica, we find ourselves at the Marinco Biological Reserve. Bordering Corcovado National Park, Marinco is an outstanding example of sustainable tourism. As we begin our hike, we come across some leafcutter ants, and Julio explains some of the interesting facts of these incredible insects. And the, what's fascinating about them is uh, the way that these leaves, they, they're not using to eat them, but they actually grow a fungus which is only found in leafcutter ant um, uh, nests. They all behave as, a, as one single living organism. Um, and uh, what else? They, they are very important also in the sense that by cutting down the trees, the, the leaves on the canopy, they are clearing gaps so that light will go to the bottom of the forest and help, help it regenerate in the world, if we would place ants on one side and humans on the other, ants would weigh as much as humanity. Ants grow everywhere in the world, from deserts to the Arctic Circle, in cities. Everywhere we go, we, we would find the ants. In cities, everywhere. Uh, there's not a day in your life that you don't have some kind of encounter with ants. And as we look up into the trees, Marinko flashes its wild sight in all its glory as we spot one of the most colorful birds in all of the tropics, the majestic macaw. Even if you're not a birder, one can't help but admire these beautiful creatures. One of the things that's important in the rainforest is that everything is being recycled constantly. And so when a tree falls, for example right here, uh, you will notice that the tree falls and it knocks down a lot of other trees, opening a light gap in the forest which allows for the regeneration of, uh, of the forest. There's no, uh, no uh, separation in the forest between life and death. Everything is a cycle. In the rainforest, we do not have an accumulation of humus like you find in temperate zone forests uh, because we don't have seasons. So two characteristics of our trees here. Number one, roots are going to be horizontal. And number two, these trees, when you cut them, you will not see the rings as you see them in temperate zones. You cannot count, estimate the age because we don't have winter. The only access to this area is by boat, and as you look around, you can really see that this area has retained its wild atmosphere. As we continue meandering along the trail, we once again look up in the canopy, where we spot a white-faced capuchin monkey. finally make our way to the end of the trail, all that was left to do after a hike in the hot and humid jungle was take a plunge in the cool, refreshing river. 